Welcome back, everyone, to Run Escape. Sorry, RuneScape. Uh, I'm ready to do some more dungeon diving. And I found out, thank you, commenter, I didn't go through the... I mean, I was done last episode, but I wasn't done done. Like, I didn't realize there was further to go in. There was another exit, like, in the boss room. Uh, so we're going to start with doing basically what we did last time. Um... But now I'm curious, did I ever test, like, what some of these did? Uh, who have unlocked the floor level that is eight. Oh, okay, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so we still have to go through this door until we get to a higher level. So let's get into this, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Let's go, let's, let's, let's see how deep we can go today. Uh, where did I go? Wait, did I go in one of these? No. No, where did I go? Wait, where did I go to get into the to the dungeon? I thought I came in here. Did I not come in here? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Complexity, equipment, food. Yep, okay. So, we've got all of our gear over here. Uh, yes, okay. Where, where we want our battle axe... I believe that was it. Excellent. Okay, so. Um, what is this? We got purple. Purple shielded key. Purple shield key. And hi. Okay, just take the, the key. Uh, okay, so. Gold wedge door. So I wonder, is it the same every time? This seems different. Oh, that's the smuggler. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, did I need to get food from him? Isn't that something I needed to do? Uh, when you tell me who are you, do I have any rewards? Do I have any rewards to claim? Okay, no rewards. Um, here to trade. Okay, don't have anything to sell. Okay. Oh, maybe the food was just this stuff over here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this now. <clears throat> oh, and there's the dungeon exit. Got it. Okay. Oh, there you are. Aha, uh -huh. go attack, go attack. for Let's grab them just in case. All right, what's this purple corner key? So this is different. That's good. All right, we got another door over here. Another shade and then an ice spider. Oh, that shade was much weaker. Wow. Purple corner door. Okay, I think I had that. Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. Someone had explained to me in the comments. I didn't finish reading it, though. Examine farming patch. A place to grow food and herbs. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't read the full comment, but I read enough to see, you know, many things in the game are right-clickable. And so, that's all I needed to hear, apparently. Yay, combat level up. Oh, he's shooting at me. Go get him. Go, where'd he go? Whoa. Oh, there he is. You're hiding. Oh, that first one was a level 7. This one's a level 1. Okay. Was there another one, or was that the one? I guess that was the one. What's this? That's not a door. Purple shield door. Okay, I've got that. <clears throat> I 
Whoops. Oh, didn't mean to click. Didn't mean to click. Go back. Fight the spider. Fight the spider. Oh, he's dead. Great. Uh, gold wedge key. Okay. So now we go back out. Ooh, a spinning wheel. That's cool. What? Did I not pick it up? What? Oh, I didn't. You doofus. I sure thought I did. You know, for a game that's all about clicking things, I sure do have issues clicking things. <laughs> yep, there it is. It's just sitting there. Like, see, I clicked on it, but then, like, the camera shifted, and it then gave me a red X. Oh, yeah, I've got a loot. I guess I didn't click loot. So, like, the red X to me makes it seem like, like, even now, like, there's a red X where I click, even when the camera doesn't shift. I don't understand why it's a red X. Like, X's already imply wrong, and... Red also implies wrong. <laughs> All right. Spider done real quick. Okay. Well, oh, I got a new skill down here, I think. Punish basic ability slash at the target unexpectedly. 50 to 100% ability damage. If the target is below 50% health, the damage is increased by 150. Okay, yeah, so you kind of want that at the end of the cycle to have a higher chance of them being lower health. Okay. In dungeon ladder. Okay. Are you sure you want to proceed and take your party with you? Yes. Continue. Oh, okay. There we go. Congratulations. You have completed a dungeon. Look at that. You have unlocked more features and opportunities within Damonhorn. A uh, Damonheim. You can now reach complexity level two. You have unlocked the next floor. You can now reach floor two. All right, lots of numbers and things going on here. Oh, and it's counting now until I'm in going to the next dungeon. That's cool. All right, that's cool. Complexity two, fishing, wood cutting, farming. Okay. Minimal shop stock. Uh, do I have any rewards? No. Okay. I'm assuming it'll tell me when I do, but... Alright, so I can buy... Those things and a feather and a bowstring. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing. So we're just gonna grab some of this food over here. Right? Can I? Oh, I need to re-equip. Oh, that's weird. Uh, just let me keep what I had been wearing, right? That like makes sense to me. Okay, I'm not gonna want these. Can I ditch these? Yeah, let's ditch these. Although it's probably just gonna give them to me again. We'll keep the bow and arrow, sh sure. Okay, so we've got a number of. Oh, there are red things over there, but they're not doors. All right, so we need orange corner door. Orange corner. Got it. I 
ice warrior and an ice spider. Oh, two ice warriors. I didn't see that one. Alright, rusty coins. I don't know exactly what those do. Novice rapier, not as good as what I've got. Okay. Oh, there's the book. Alright, got another level up. The music sudden dropout is a little jarring for the for the level up music. All right, checks. Is there anything back here? Doesn't look like it. Do I have that? I don't have that. Oh, there's another door over here. There it is. Oh, I did not see that spider. He apparently didn't see me. Defense level up. Excellent. I'm assuming the coins are used in the dungeon shop. That's a level seven spider. Let's get the ice warrior down first. Could I have gone through here? That's not a door. That's not a door that way. No, this is the wrong way. dealing with in this one all right not the oh there's a spider this way there's always things like like that looks like a door over there but that's not a door this is a door
Oh, this is the dude I fought in the first floor last time. Behemoth notes. Not sure what that's for. Yes, continue. Uh, you have unlocked more features and opportunities within the Damon Hine. Hein. You can now reach complexity level three. You've unlocked the, the next floor. You can now. Okay, great. Got it. <clears throat> the engineering level up. Complexity 3. <clears throat> See if he has anything new. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is what I use uh, Rusty Coins for, it looks like. Oh, but I lost. Oh, so you need to, like, come back to this guy at the end because you lose coins <clears throat> between. Got it. So he's just got bows. Nothing else I'm really interested in. I'm going to use my axe. Wait a minute. Whoops. Where is my weapon? Do I have to buy a weapon? I can get, I can't even get that. What? I'm, I'm very confused. I only have 200 rusty coins and I don't have a weapon. Is there one around here somewhere? Ah, Okay. They're on the table. Interesting. All right, well, there's a long sword. We can take that. Oh, and there's rusty coins. Okay, so now we can equip the sword. There we go. All right, where are we headed? Dungeon exit, guardian door. Let's see other doors in there. Forgotten warrior. Uh, offhand Bathus dagger. Nice. I'm dual wielding now. <clears throat> uh, guardian door and oh, we got we got a we got a intersection here. Yep, dual wielding. Fantastic. Defense leveled up. Novice plate skirt. Novice full helm. Novice rapier. Okay. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, how do I get that? Worn equipment. There we go. Okay, so I don't... I definitely don't have a, a helm. This is 24 armor. That's 24 armor. This is 61 damage. That's 61 damage. Okay. 
anything else in here other than a door I can't open? Don't think so. Ooh, level 14 Ice Warrior. Leather torn bag, sure. Crescent key. Uh, are we back at the intersection? That sound was great. Oh, that's handy. The key is in the room. The idea of not using your own equipment in Dungeoneering, but I feel like that, like, I don't know, I feel like it makes it worse. It, it almost just makes it a mini game, which I understand that's essentially what RuneScape is. It is a it is an RPG built on a bunch of pseudo idle mini games that are all built around very similar ideas and mechanics. But I feel like, whoa, okay, okay, whoa, okay, we're about to die, we're about to die for the first time. Oh, you know what? I've seen, um, I saw, I was watching some video on Dungeoneering just to kind of look at like some in-game video of it. And, uh, this guy was one of the, one of the bosses I saw being talked about. I believe they were saying you should use ranged combat with this dude. <laughs> I mean, we're doing all right. I, oh, I guess I didn't pick up any food to eat. Should I run during that part? Because he can't be hurt at this point. Should have picked up food. Could I leave and come back? Could I get food? Nope, no leaving. Okay. I'm determined to get a screenshot of me dying here in a second. There we go. Oh, that's funny. 
Oh, I mean, even if I had food, I don't think I'm going to survive that fight. And I, I think we've, I think we've learned a lot today. So here's what I think. Here's what I think. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead though. Let's exit the dungeon real quick. Um, we're going to call it there today. Where, where's my exit? Climb up dungeon exit. Yes. Okay. I think, and I could be convinced otherwise, so feel free. Uh, I think we're going to conclude my testing of RuneScape. And here's why. The whole purpose of this, right, was to test and see what is what is not only is what what is the best casual sorry what is the best mmo for casual players we're not just wanting to find out what is the best because in reality the answer is going to be well that depends on what you want out of the game and i think i have a good understanding of what a casual player might want out of runescape and what runescape has to offer uh, for casual players. And the problem is most of what RuneScape can offer to a casual player hardly feels like an MMO. There are much more MMO mechanics and pieces to RuneScape with doing things with groups. And yes, you could get a group of friends together and go dungeoneering. But a casual player isn't doing that. A casual player is rarely, if ever, seeking out organized, scheduled group content. Now, if they happen upon group content... This is what Guild Wars 2 excels at, which just happened like two episodes ago, two weeks ago in Guild Wars 2, I think, where I stumbled onto a world boss and I fought it with, I don't know, 50, 60 other players. As a casual player, that's what I want to experience. That's how I want to experience large group or any size group content. RuneScape for a casual player doesn't have that. And I say for a casual player because in order to get into that stuff, you have to know people, you have to research things. Um, and so I feel like what a casual gaming player can get out of RuneScape is great, but it's not, an, what they're getting isn't an MMO. And so I think I am doing a disservice to, oh geez, that scared me. I think I'm doing a disservice to other MMOs that are on my list to play by continuing to make videos of this. Now, I'm sure there are other skills I could go look at and like learn them and do them, but I, I'm i pretty certain they would all follow the same routine. Click on this, wait. Click on this, wait click on this wait which is fine and honestly kind of good for a casual player but it's not an mmo it's a pseudo idle game and i love idle games don't get me wrong and i look forward to keep playing this as an idle game not as an mmo i'm interested in playing this to just do something and be able to look and see oh i'm leveling up these skills okay well i'm kind of i'm kind of tired of doing dungeoneering let me go look up how to do another skill and that's another thing. The moment you have to you have to start looking things up to know what to do, that's a barrier a lot of casual players don't want to cross. I had to research where to go to start dungeoneering. Um similarly, I love Elite Dangerous, but in order to enjoy Elite Dangerous, you have to look things up on YouTube and websites that aren't even made by the developers. RuneScape falls in that boat too. And I would not say that Elite Dangerous is a good casual game either. Uh, so I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, 
I'm not ready to say that, a, that RuneScape is a good casual game. Uh, it can be, as long as you're okay with looking something up every now and then and not really knowing what you're doing and, and being willing to play it and not care about looking forward to what might become. Because I'm going to keep playing this but I don't know what the end goal is going to be. I don't know what new equipment. I, I have no expectation of like what my character is going to look like a year after playing this. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't know. And especially as a free player, that's the other thing is I feel like RuneScape. Uh, at, at first glance, as a free player, at first glance, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it um other than just going through the motions of leveling up a bunch of skills all basically doing the same thing click and wait click and wait so we're gonna move on from runescape um we've collected the data we're gonna keep the data so that we can compare it with other games that we're gonna play in the future um our next game i've already got ready we're gonna play new world I don't think it's going to be casual friendly, uh, but we're, we're going to try it. We're going to see. I do expect it to feel like an MMO. And at the end of the day, that's why RuneScape... What's going on? Have I idled for too long? I did idle for too long. Uh, that's the problem with RuneScape. It does not, for a casual player like me, it does not feel like an MMO at all. So uh, to you RuneScape players who have helped me, thank you. You have introduced me to a fun new game that I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to download it on my phone and try it on that as well. I love this cross cross save. You know, you're just logging into the same same account. Um, so anyways, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next week. We're going to throw New World into the mix. Crap. Is that going to ruin my alphabetical order? <gasps> it's not. It's not going to ruin my alphabetical order. Yes. That's awesome. Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow with Star Wars The Old Republic. Adios. Goodbye.